Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, I just want to do a book review. Um, recently I got a, um, a tax return um, out of nowhere and um, I spent a lot of it on books. <laughs> and um, I like to have these things in case the lights go out and um, I like to reference these things. And one of these things that just came in the mail today was a 1560 Geneva Bible. I like to have... I think this is a good old translation to uh, cross-reference. And um, so I just wanted to share. The print is kind of small. But I'm already just like flabbergasted at this book. It's so awesome. Um, yes, it is a little hard to read. But um, it is just filled with um, footnotes. And let me tell you, reading this stuff, I'm already learning so much. They're actually very useful. Um, it's pretty astounding. So here we are in the book of Hosea, okay? And we all know if you're following this channel, we know when we look up the names, especially in the first uh, verse of the books of the prophets, when we look up the meaning of the names, we can literally find um, the hidden secret that we're supposed to be seeing within the book or Yahuwah's hidden message. So... One of these messages, here we go. The word of Yahuwah came on the Hosea, the son of Beri, in the days of Azariah. Okay, so we have a footnote of Azariah. So let's check this footnote out. Called also Azariah, who being a leper, was dethroned from his kingdom. Okay, so that's interesting to know because what is the book of Hosea about? This is about when... A paradigm shift comes, the wicked get clothed with death, and the righteous um, shine in their glorified light bodies, and you will be able to discern, to discern who serves the Lord and who does not. And this is to bring many to repentance. And the book of Hosea is really about Yahuwah's plan in the end times to bring the heathen into the kingdom. Um, and it's interesting how it says in the days of Azariah, and we learn that he was a leper who was dethroned from his kingdom. And that's what will happen to the wicked. So this helps crack the code. Um, it's really awesome, man. Like, I'm just eating this stuff up. Like, I love this stuff. It's really awesome. So I just wanted to share this. Um, it's a great Bible to cross-reference to have. If you could tolerate, I would just get a nice pair of reading glasses. I'm getting old. But, um... Yeah, 1560 Geneva Bible. I also got a 1611 King James Bible. Because um, it's been on my heart to retranslate the Bible. And one of these days, um, I plan on printing my own Bible with the extra uh, biblical text in it. Um, and so, I, I don't know. It would take years to do that. But it's just really on my heart. And I just see, you know, so um, I don't know. I just want to recommend, uh, you know, purchasing one of these Bibles because it's a great uh, translation to cross-reference. And these footnotes, which are so abundant, actually are really astounding. Like Proverbs 31, which is about, you know, the ideal wife and stuff. Um, I forget, you know, I'm sorry I'm not well-versed, but um, the name of that proverb is really about King Solomon. And perhaps when King Solomon was dethroned by Yahuwah, he changed his name. And and it makes sense that um, Proverbs 31 was a proverb of King Solomon because he lost his kingdom from, from being married to a heathen wife. And we all know that story. Um, really amazing. Really cool. So, uh, I don't know. Already, I mean, I've, I've been sitting around with this book for like 20 minutes and I'm already learning so much. It's really cool. So, uh, okay, guys, I just wanted to share that. Um, I highly recommend getting this. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in. I was just trying to get to Proverbs 31 and show you guys. Um, it's right here, actually. Here we go. Here's Proverbs 31. The words of King Lemuel. I don't know. But it, here we go. It says, this is Solomon. Um, this king is King Solomon, who was called Lemuel, that is, of Yahuwah. I checked the Strong's. Strong, the Strong says maybe this is likely true. But 
contextually, when we know what Proverbs 31 is about, it makes, and we know the story of King Solomon, it makes perfect sense that this is King Solomon. And um, likely Yahuwah changed his name when he was dethroned. And um, it's about marrying the perfect wife because that was his folly. I know, really cool. Already learning so much. So, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, bless you. I just want to recommend this book. Uh, really awesome. Okay.